tidak perlu Well, uh, I wasn't expecting this. See, I just came back from Kanda's Wonderland, which was a school trip, believe it or not. And, um, oh, looks like Spirit uploaded a new teaser. In fact, when I was in line for one of the rides, I was thinking, hey, what if Spirit does a new sneak peek today? And I guess I was incorrect. They didn't do a sneak peek. They did a teaser. Or just a teaser that got, I don't really know. Um, but they did a teaser, alright, and it's a little crazy. Now, I will see the props we see, I'm a little disappointed. Now, when I say disappointed, I don't mean like 2022, all oh, this sucks, disappointment. I mean, they're not as cool as I th thought they'd be. I mean, you can see my predictions, but does that mean they're not cool? Absolutely not. Actually, actually, I think this could be one of the Spirit's best years. But let's try to analyze these, like, these props as they are. Okay, so the first one here is certainly the black heart. I mean, come on. And I will say, I'm a little disappointed with it being a reaper. I'll say that. I'd, I'd rather wish it was a vampire. But damn, it does look cool. Its clothing is a little undetailed, but that is so made up for with the two faces. A, the reaper face is like so... I don't know, just detailed, realistic. That's the best I could say. Plus, the woman's face is so dead and creepy looking. And this is Crazy Create, mind you. And Crazy Create does good stuff, but this is, like, good. And the Reaper's mouth movement looks amazing. But this is definitely, like, not quite a disappointment, I'd say. Like, this is definitely... Pr uh, yeah, a, a tat, but it is still really cool. And this uh, is probably one of the most disturbing props we've seen in damn years, really, because, like, yeah, honestly, I don't know how the, it's going to be the black heart, if there's going to be a heart involved somehow, I'm okay either way, but this is cool, like, this is definitely one I could see myself getting, that's for sure. The next one here is Heckled, who I was expecting to be, like, pretty stupid, and, like, I was expecting him to be very similar to Nozzles, but he's not. Now, I can't really see the whole toxic balloon part, but this guy is, like, good. Because the thing is, monster clowns are always so common for Spirit to do. And there are a few monster clowns here. But he looks human. And he looks, with the cut on his head, he, he has a very sad look to him, which actually adds to his creepiness so much. And we don't really know what he says. I think he says something like, do you want a balloon in the teaser? But this is actually pretty good for a clown prop. And granted, I like it when the clown props are a mix of scary and goofy. But there is the waving Wally silent and deadly gray area. And I think he's worming his way into there. And so, like, Heckles actually looks to be pretty damn creepy. Kudos to you, spirit. I didn't know you'd do this. Now, the next one we see is Slim, the $400 one. And I must say, again, Spirit, you did it. Will Does this guy look $400? Not really. I think that is still overpriced. We don't know what he... Because the leaning down for the bag, I think maybe the popcorn clowns might jump out of it. Which, if so, would definitely be a little more worth the price, in my opinion. Uh, I do feel like there's something they're hiding with that because it's too much like a jump scare animation and doesn't really make sense for him to just be doing that. So I feel like they're, you're at least going to see the clowns in the bag. But this, but especially the moving mouth, it does look very animatronic-y. But in the same way, the things in the original film are literally animatronic. So if there's one thing they to make that does look animatronic-y, it should be slim. And actually, his body looks very, like, it looks lifelike. 
and it actually looks like a killer clown. I was actually very surprised with the mouth movement since it was party time. But like, again, kudos to you, Spirit. Like, this is... This is still pretty good in my opinion. Will I be getting him? I don't know. Maybe he's a little overpriced. But hey, I mean, what the hell? This next one was a bit of a letdown, because this is Leatherface. I will say, he looks pretty good. Like, his suit looks pretty good, and the pre pretty woman mask does, and the chainsaw moves, yes! But his animation appears to be the Mr. Punchy animation. It seems to be just spinning at the waist. Huh. Although, I will say his body actually looks very good. Like, he does look like a guy holding a chainsaw. Maybe, and because this is a super quick clip of him, maybe he's actually, like, lurching backwards or forwards, at least I hope. Um, for 350 definitely seems a little overpriced, but his detail isn't bad. But yeah, i not the most happy with this one, but whatever. You know, I it's still pretty cool. This next one is definitely strange, since it's not one we've seen before, I don't think. And I don't know what his name is, I thought I saw it in a comment section, but I'm not sure. I don't know what this guy's called, but he's... He's alright. Not the best. He looks a little bit like a Party City prop, which a lot of people will take as a, like, compliment. In this case, it, not, it isn't really, but it's not bad, actually. Like, his face is pretty creepy, and definitely comparing this over some of the stuff we got last year, a pretty good jump scare. So, you know what? I, I don't love this guy, um, but he's, he's a worthy addition to Spirit's lineup. He's a certified, pretty good prop. This next one is one I was quite surprised by, which is Eternal Rest. Because I thought it would be like a stone woman weeping or something, but it's a tombstone with a spinning reaper head. I was not expecting that. Um, do I necessarily think this is the best? No, although it's only $140, so that's not terrible. You know, like, it would be a good piece to a graveyard. Definitely a little overpriced, that's for sure. But it's... I don't know. Of course, it's nothing much, but it is leaps better than Tombstone Terror, that's for sure. If this took Tombstone Terror's place last year, I wouldn't really mind. Okay, this next one here, we only get a very quick look at, but this is almost certainly Darling Dolly. I must say, I'm not the most... I don't know. I thought she'd be cooler, that's for sure. I had high, high expectations. But my main problem with her is she looks a little cheap. Like, especially the hands. I'm sorry, I'm quiet. I just, there's something going on downstairs. I don't really want to interrupt. Uh, but her hands do look a little cheap. Um, but she is still on the creepy side. Like, the doll face is really creepy. And even though the hands do look cheap, they are still very eerie. Like, branch and long-like. I don't hate this one. And the animation jump scare is actually pretty neat. Um, but you know, it's not as cool as I thought it would be. But at the same time, it's still pretty good. That's, that's what I'd sum up most of the things in this teaser, with a few exceptions, good and bad. This next one is apparently Deathstalker. I was thinking it would be a, more of Hellspawn. And I will say, did this live up to my expectations? Yeah, honestly. It's not or exactly what I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a Shadow Boogeyman. But, and this, but really, can you say this isn't a Shadow Boogeyman? What I do like about it is it has a very Lovecraftian look to it, which if you've heard some of the things I've said on the channel, not nearly as much as some other stuff. I love the Lovecraftian stuff, dude. Like Cthulhu, yada yada, I love Lovecraft type stuff. So that's pretty cool. And he does, like, if this is Deathstalker, he's not that much of a letdown. The fog is a neat touch, but, like, he definitely goes along very well with Nightcrawler. Someone said they'd picture him as a Nightcrawler-esque demon, which I want to have words with whoever said that. How did you know? But, yeah, I was thinking Hellspawn, because he just, he seems more like he'd be a three-foot-tall prop. But as a 7.3 feet, this is definitely going to be really menacing. A big head, too. But Deathstalker, pretty damn neat. This next one is probably melting a few people's brains. Not mine, since I haven't really seen Tales from the Crypt, and it doesn't really have me interested as something I really want to see. But this is the Crypt Keeper, which I know a lot of people have wanted and have been speculating. And it is a thing. But, you know, I can see why people would like this. It seems to have, like, moving eye animation, and it does look, like, pretty realistic. 
It's not a bad prop, it's just not my cup of tea, that's the real thing, but it's definitely not a failure in my eyes. Although I do find it kind of funny how he has his toes out, that's kind of funny. You know, because I'm immature, haha, <laughs> feet. But whatever, let's move on to the next one. This next one is what I can only assume to be Dagger Mike. It might be something else, but it just fits all too well. I do think this is Dagger Mike. And you know what? Again, we are theorizing this might be Johnny Punk 2, but it isn't. It actually looks like he's actually pretty creepy. His face is pretty creepy, and from what we see, the animation does actually look pretty cool. I like his animation, that's for sure. But you know what? Another, like, fairly solid one in my eyes. This next one is... something. I don't know what it's named. It's definitely one of the more low-budget animatronics. I don't mean, like, cheap-looking. It's actually pretty detailed. But I just mean, like, on the lower end of prices. Probably. I don't know. But this is... It reminds me of the One Party City tabletop from a little while back. But you know what? It, as, I, as I say with a lot of stuff, it's pretty solid. You know? It's like a pretty unexpected jump scare. I like that. And it's kid-friendly enough to be like, you know, oh, hey, you can display this on your porch, but also creepy enough that haunters like us will probably like it, I think. I, I haven't seen anybody's reactions to this. Maybe everybody's hating on everything, thinks this teaser is a failure, but I definitely don't think so. This next one here is Stilts which is sort of a heckled situation in my opinion, where I thought Spirit was going to fumble the bag with this one, and we haven't really heard the phrases, but they didn't. His face is, like, pretty monstrous, but it's also not too monstrous to be, like, crouchy type, if you know what I mean. But he's, like, he's pretty creepy. And, like, with his height, too, like, at, like, 8 feet, he's definitely going to be a very menacing figure. I like how he has blood on the bowling pins. That's amazing. Love to see the blood spirit. Um, but he's not bad. Like, I think he looks pretty cool. I like his color scheme. And his animation is pretty cool, too. Not a failure. I actually quite like it. Might be better to get than Leatherface, actually. But I also can't fit eight foot props. What I like about spirit is when they're eight feet, they have a reason to be eight feet. Like, stilts. He's literally on stilts. He's a stilts juggler. Unlike something like, I don't know, Party City, that's like, oh, let's make a Wendigo. Also make it 12 foot for some reason. I haven't made my Party City opinions yet, but if I'm dead honest, they're not that pretty. This next one I don't have much to say about because it's Creepy Rising Doll, which we've all seen, know and love. I don't know, maybe some of you don't. But you know, I, I, I didn't bring up Grave Watcher, but I'm bringing up Creepy Rising Doll for some reason. But we have fully seen Grave Watcher before, but not Creepy Rising Doll. It's def it looks a little more like higher quality, like the face looks a little different from the original, but still pretty similar to the original, so it's not that much to talk about that we haven't covered. And the next one, and final one, is Poor George, which is one I'm a little mixed on. I definitely don't hate it, that's for sure. Did Spirit fumble this one, or did they live up to it? Eh, a little in between. Uh, and I only have one nitpick, but it is something that I'm not that big on. I think the animation is really cool. The whole two phases is, re is really cool. And it is a bit more of a gory animatronic, which is awesome. We love to see the gore spirit. The only issue is, is it that gory? Because, you know, only the bottom's red, but there's not even any blood around that. So that's the only real thing that's like, eh, I don't know. But it says he's cut in half by a cable car, and you'd, that would probably be pretty clean. But I do respect this for not being a lucky bottom reskin. Two lucky bottoms back to back without it actually returning would have been exhausting. But he, he's, they took this idea, and it's pretty original. And the face looks pretty good too. Definitely what we need for clowns though. The originality is amazing to see. But he is pretty creepy. So Spirit, good one again. So folks... Tell me what you think of this teaser in the comments below. How do you think Spirit did this here? I think this is their redemption arc. I don't want to jinx it, but it seems pretty good. What props do you find cool? Which were you disappointed by? And as always, like and subscribe if you're new and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.